Welcome to the latest Wax Ecstatic Pack Break. I'm your host, Matt Salmon, and I am just jacked up for this particular show. Well, I'm always jacked up for our shows, but we've got a very special product to discuss in this upcoming podcast. It'll drop at noon Eastern on Friday, February 26th, and as you can see, it features repacked wax, a brilliant brainchild product of our guest this week, Ryan Cornell, the creator and founder of Repacked Wax. Now, you'll hear Ryan's story of how this great idea not only came to fruition, but was very well-timed. You know, everyone has a great idea. And not only did Ryan and his uh, co-workers create this idea and execute it well, but they had a little luck too. And that's what you need in a lot of cases. But of course, luck is the design of, uh, you know, creativity. So uh, kudos to Ryan and company for creating this great product. Repacked Wax takes vintage baseball cards, as you can see here on the wrapper. I've got the various years, 1950s through the early 2000s, and in 15 cards, packages them in traditional old wax packages. And I have to tell you, I can promise you, I can squeeze this. There's no gum here. So perhaps a wax stain, but no gum stains. Thank God. We had enough of those back in the day. But Ryan will share his story of how he came up with repacked wax. And I think you're going to enjoy it. It's a great idea that really came together well, is growing by leaps and bounds, and uh, has grown just uh, phenomenally even in the past few weeks. And, and the future certainly looks bright for repacked wax. Now, what is inside these cards? or inside these packs. Well, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna take two of the five packs that I purchased. And I do wanna state that, uh, you know, for the record, I purchased all five of these packs here. You can buy uh, numerous package sizes from Repacked Wax's website, repackedwax.com. I chose the five pack uh, mini package. So uh, I didn't get any special treatment. None of these were free. These all came uh, out of my budget. And I should also mention, and Ryan told me this, and I thanked him for doing this. He gave me no special treatment. Whatever the first five packs were when I placed my order, they went in the box and came to my house. So uh, I'm getting what you would get if you were in my spot in line. So that's always good. Now these two packs, we're gonna open up for this video. This will be part of our tease for this Friday's podcast. The other three packs I'm going to post on a video that uh, we will release after the podcast happens. And it'll be available to subscribers of the Wax Ecstatic YouTube channel. So you'll get to see the goodies we pull out of these just to get a taste of what's in repacked wax as well as what we're going to talk about on Friday. The additional 45 cards, we'll uh, together open these up, have some fun with these. All right, so let's take a look. Repacked Wax Pack number one. Now, this is another beautiful piece of artwork right here by Ryan. And I have to commend him for this. Much like Fleer back in the day put the stickers here. Much like Donruss back in the day put the puzzle pieces here. Ryan and Repacked Wax were smart enough to put a plain white card that has their uh, product name and what they do on the top. So the wax stain gets absorbed here and not here. Not that we want to damage Mike Phillips and his 81 Tops card, but uh, this is very appreciated. I've got to see, is this a, a sticker as well? I may peel that back later. Um, Ryan, if this is not a sticker, if this is merely just a piece of uh, uh, cardboard or, or rather flimsy paper, it should become a sticker, all right? All right, so here we go, 81 tops. We start with Mike Phillips. Look at that, John Smoltz rookie. Sure, it's 89 Donruss. Is it gonna pay your mortgage this month? No, but it's a John Smoltz rookie in pretty good shape. Looks like there's a little bit of folding there, a little bit on the corner, but hey, you got a Hall of Famer rookie there. Andre Thornton, looking boss. In his Cleveland Indians uniform and the beautiful 22 gauge shotgun sunglasses there. 
Steve Jeltz, 88 Donruss. What do we have here? Big Poppy David Ortiz. This was a Topps opening day uh, puzzle piece here. Okay, so you got Big Poppy. Jim Gantner, we've talked about him on the program before. This was near the end of his career. Jim Gantner famously, uh, and this story uh, made the rounds again after Hank Aaron's death a few weeks ago. Uh, Jim Gantner famously uh, one of the few people who would uh, pinch run for Hank Aaron. That's how long he was in the big leagues. He made his major league debut in 1976, Hank Aaron's last season. We have Steve Cook here. This is Top Stadium Club from 1995. You can tell I had tuned out of current baseball cards by then. I couldn't even recognize this. Brian Harper, the Minnesota Twins, on his 89 upper deck card. Great action shots front and back. Another vintage here, 1978 Tops Tim Johnson. I just got a ton of 78 Tops through a cardboard donation. And yeah, you know, it's a little off center, but you know what? It's beautiful. <laughs> so Tim Johnson there. We've got uh, Chuck McElroy, his 92 Fleer Ultra. I believe we've talked about him in a past podcast uh, simply because it's a great Harry Carey name. I'm now pitching for the Cubs, Chuck McElroy. We've got Barry Bonds here, 94 Donruss. Yeah, we just did 94 Donruss, didn't we? Nice full action shot of a, as you can see, starting to get heftier Barry Bonds there. 26 home runs in 1993, or excuse me, 46 home runs. Is that my eyesight's getting bad here? 46 home runs in 1993, so he wasn't totally on the cycle. Going back, I uh, got a couple back-to-back -back 82s here. We got Rick Mahler of the Atlanta Braves. Uh, note the empty hand in his glove here. Uh, didn't totally fool us with the faux pitching position. Bill Travers of the California Angels. We've got Ricky Wright here on his 83 Fleer card. Oh, another great Harry Carey name. About the third baseman for the Cubs, Louis Salazar. 1990 Leaf there. And we wrap it up with 93 Fleer. You know, that was a, a fairly decent set, much like Don Russ uh, back then. Just too little, too late. Ryan Thompson of the Mets. And again, protecting your cards. And this is a sticker. Oh, I actually see the fold here. Good job, guys. Here, I'll show it nice and close here. I actually saw it on this one without the wax. There is a fold here. So these aren't just, uh, you know, card placers. These are stickers. Brilliant idea there. All right, so we had a uh, Hall of Fame pitcher in John Smoltz. You get the Smoltzy rookie there. Uh, we also get some notable names, Dave uh, David Ortiz, Jim Gantner, uh, you know, longtime player, Brian Harper, you probably know. And then, uh, of course, Barry Bonds. And for me, the guy who's collecting uh, or hand collating vintage sets, you know, it's nice to get a 78 tops, nice to get an 82 tops. So I'm loving this. All right. Let's open up pack number two for this video. All right. Once again, our well placed stickers. And we start with one of the many pitching aces whom Billy Martin uh, burned out his arm back in the day. Brian Kingman, an 81 Fleer card here to start things off. Then we've got Mark Grace. It's another notable name from back in the day, 1990 Fleer. Another Cub, Leon Durham. Not wearing the cool smoky glasses that Andre Thornton had, but uh, good old 80s pose there. Another 88 Donruss here, Mean Gene Larkin of the Minnesota Twins. All right, here we go. Dwight Gooden, of course, referred to on his 89 Tops card as Doc Gooden, so another all-star there. Hey, we're doubling up on the Chuck McElroys. That just tickles me inside to see not one but two Chuck McElroys. Okay, thank you very much, Harry. That's my Steve Stone, by the way. All right, George Bell. 89 Donruss, another notable name. 
We've got the nasty boy, Rob Dibble, in his 89 upper deck. Another 78 tops card, Joe Coleman. Not Joe Coleman Sr., who we uh, showed off many moons ago when we were talking 54 tops. This was his son. We've got, uh, let's see, Sean Bosky. Another great Cubs name from the uh, late 80s and early 90s. Roberto Kelly in his 94 Donruss. That's a great action shot. Let me take a look there. Yeah, just kind of your standard at-bat picture there. Back uh, to the back-to-back -back 82s here. We've got Pete Mackinnon of the Minnesota Twins. Love how that uh, old Twins road uniform pops. And then we've got Brian Clark. Uh, honestly, one of the most underrated 80s uniforms was the early 80s and I'm talking 81 through 84 Seattle Mariners where you have the spiky trident hat the uh, powder blue and the really dark gold and dark blue on there I've always liked that one now their all-star turned manager with his 83 Fleer card Mike Sosha great action shot there all right Let's see, what do we got here? 89 World Series, Dave Stewart, Oakland MVP. So this would have been an insert in the 1990 Fleer set, number 8 of 12. And we close things off with the 1993 Tops Joel Adamson card. You may not care about Joel Adamson, but for those of you that were eager to learn more about the new Florida Marlins, this is how you learned about them. So you'll see in these two particular packs some similarities. So we had a string here, uh, very similar. Basically, these, let me move them into the camera here, I'm sorry. Basically, you know, 89 upper deck, 78 tops. Uh, 92 Fleer Ultra, 94 Donruss, 82 Donruss, 82 tops, 83 Fleer. So you saw that similar string there. And other than the very strange quirk of ending up with Chuck McElroy, not once but twice, this is a pretty fun collection of cards. Uh, this is not exactly what you would get in one of those Walgreens packages because you're not going to get any true vintage there. Uh, and that, of course, I mean by you know stuff from like 1982 or 1978. But what you do have here is a fun little collection of cards ranging from 1978 to what was the latest uh 1995 or maybe that ortiz puzzle piece here what year was that from i've got to squint to read these uh trademark dates 2007 so uh predominantly uh some junk wax stuff here but a lot leaning towards the early 80s uh you got 87 81 like i said quite a few 82s and 83s but really the thrill is, what is going to come out of this wax wrapper? And that's what I love about repacked wax. Because when you open up a pack of, say, 87 tops, you already know what the chase cards are. You already know what the big rookie is. You already kind of know what to expect. But with repacked wax, it's just such a cornucopia of cardboard delight. So we'll be talking again with Ryan Cornell, creator and founder of Repacked Wax in our upcoming podcast. Let you know uh, what's new at Repacked Wax. We'll also let you know uh, how you can buy some of these yourself. And how can you make a great idea turn into a great product? Uh, Ryan had that experience. I think you'll be able to pick some of those tips up there. Maybe you'll be able to utilize them too in whatever you're doing. All right, we're going to open up. The other three packs, eh, some other time. <laughs> Keep an eye, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel for Wax Ecstatic, and you can see those packs soon. Again, our next podcast this Friday, February 26th. I'm Matt Salmon. Thank you for watching this week's Pack Break with Repacked Wax on Wax Ecstatic.